Hello everyone, my name is Sama Premanand Reddy. I am so glad to hear to explain you about Wireman application. Our Telangana government has been recently released a Wireman notification and that Wireman notification is very helpful for electricians. I am representing TPTF. TPTF means Telangana Pri Private Electrical Federation that represents every electrician and electrical workers in Telangana. Presently, I am going to explain the full details and complete details about Wireman application. So, I am going to explain now. So, this Wireman application, okay, this Wireman examination and certification is issued by Telangana government from the board of State Board of Technical Education and Training, Telangana and Hyderabad. Okay, so one who want a clear picture, so please take it out, and I am showing you, uh, I am showing you the each application form to you. Just take a picture of it. Okay. Okay. Is it visible to you? I am keeping so clear. Okay. I think it's visible. Okay. So even it's not visible also, uh, please hear my voice so that uh, you can understand betterly. And certification of competency examination for wiremen under Central Electricity Authority. Measures relating to safety and electric supply, okay, regulation 2022. So, instruction to the candidates. So, one who apply, one who apply for the wireman certification, so for that candidate, so these instructions and eligibility criteria and uh, uh, warnings, so, so this all are instructions uh, so helpful to the candidate. The certificate of competency examination for wiremen will be held at the following uh, polytechnic colleges. So, wiremen examination is conducted at the respective colleges, means at the uh, particularly polytechnic colleges which is belong to uh, which is belong to uh, wiremen. So, it's completely polytechnic colleges means that represents electrical and electronic uh, uh, equipments, right? So. Okay, so this type of uh, this type of examinations is usually conducted uh, uh, in political ex uh, polytechnic examinations. So here, okay, here they mentioned some of the polytechnic uh, colleges in the list. Okay, I'll uh, I'll tell you uh, which colleges do you want to uh, choose. Okay, so here actually mentioned one, uh, two, three, four. Okay, here actually mentioned level polytechnic colleges. So, I'll tell you uh, center core. So, center core. So, if you don't know, if you don't know the college name also, center code is very useful uh, to to get known about the polytechnic college name. Okay, so center code 01. Okay, so uh, just listen carefully and note it down in a paper. It's so useful to you. Center core. 01 means the polytechnic name of the college is government polytechnic mass up tank hyderabad as well as 02 jn polytechnic ramantapur hyderabad means jn government polytechnic ramantapur hyderabad for this college name we have center code 02 okay and center code 04 uh, polytechnic government warangal and center core 05 government polytechnic mahabubnaga and center code 06 government polytechnic mahabubnaga okay and uh, center 23 okay ss government polytechnic zahirabad as well as i'm going to tell you more five polytechnic colleges so center code 26 sg government polytechnic adilabad and uh, center code 27 Government Polytechnic Nalagunda and Center Code 46 Government Polytechnic Kottagudam and Center Code 61 QQ Government Polytechnic Hyderabad 
एंड सेंटर कोड 87 सेवन डॉक्टर बी आर ए जी पॉलिटेक्निक फॉर वीमेन करीमनगर सो हियर हियर ई मैंशन ए क्लियर नोट पॉइंट टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द कैंडिडेट सो प्लीज गो थ्रू इट सो डोंट वरी इफ यू डोंट हैव एन अप्लीकेशन फॉर्म ऑल्सो आई एल कीप मीन्स पी डी एफ लिंक्स ओके पी डी एफ लिंक्स रिलेटिंग टू दिस डॉक्यूमेंट टू वायरमेंट सर्टिफिकेशन ओके वायरमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स मीन्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एज इन कॉमेंट बॉक्स ओके सो प्लीज गो थ्रू इट सो दैट यू विल गेट सो दैट यू विल गेट ए ब्रीफ आइडिया ऑन इट ओके and as well as i'll show you each and every form each and every form and application form at the end of this paper and uh, please wait until the end of the video so that uh, i can show you the application form to apply wireman so note point if number of candidates registered for wireman examination at any one of the above centers are less than 25 okay and then the candidates will be reallotted to some other centers and also if the total number of candidates registered for wireman examination at a particular center are greater than 1 to 20 then the candidates may be relocated to some other centers at the description of the secretariat state board of technical education and training ts hyderabad okay so choosing a college is depend on you but uh, if the number of students exceeded uh, in that college then uh, then our board may be uh, relocated to you to different polytechnic colleges so eligibility criteria okay eligibility to appear means uh, so <coughs> candidates satisfying the following rules and regulations are only eligible to up peer for the examination okay so this is the mainly eligibility criteria to apply for the wireman examination right so wireman certificate of competency the candidate for admission to the wireman certificate of competency examination shall be a person with 4 years of experience in the practice of electrical installation works right means uh, he has to uh, he has a minimum of 4 years of experience in practical the candidate must have 4 years of experience in the practical of electrical installation works the experience shall be certified by a firm of licensed electrical contractors whose license is in force during that period and counter signed by an electrical engineer not below the rank of deputy electrical inspector or divisional inspector in transco ts genco or ts this comes in the electrical inspector department okay so he shall have completed age of 21 years on the july 1st 2022 for the examination because uh, the person is valid to attend the examination he must have 25 years of age below the 1st july 2022 of this year actually this wireman examination It used to be held every year, first six months of every year. But because of this COVID pandemic, this year this examination is going to be held quite late. Okay, so and shall not have completed the age of sixty years. Okay, so the candidate must have twenty one years and should not complete. 61 years okay next uh, mode of examination <coughs> examination for wireman certificate of competency compresses the following okay so how the mode of how will be the mode of examination i'm going to tell you uh, so this is a pattern of the examination okay first one practical of 6 hours duration okay you will be having a practical of 6 hours duration means the time is 6 hours and oral on the subject specified in the prescribed syllabus okay so in order to attend for the wireman examination they have given some syllabus you have to learn compulsory uh, to attend uh, 
uh, oral examination so the complete practical of six hours it's totally based on your experience but uh, oral is based on subject okay you must have to qualify in both practical as well as oral okay so <coughs> list of enclosures so uh, what do you want so what do you want to carry uh, while going to the center so you have to carry bank draft in original for the request side amount of 1500 rupees okay and uh, attested copy of certificate showing the data birth and general qualification certification means if any general qualification means uh, what's your last qualification you have to uh, uh, get it out and photo id okay uh, and address proof okay so i'll show you there i'll show you the form uh, just read it out i'm showing you back of this paper okay now Let's go into the second application form. So how to apply? So this is the main point uh, to apply for the environment certificate. So if you don't know the, if you don't know how to apply for the environment certificate, I will give you one number. So please contact him so that you will get a brief idea on environment certification. So please note it down. His name is Samakondal Reddy. Is a president of a TPTF and uh, he will take care of you for the environment certification. Okay, so his number is 944012387. Okay, so how to apply? So let's go into this form. Application form with instructions to candidate can obtain www.sbtet.telangana.com government means gov dot in application form duly filled in and supported by documentary evidence should be submitted to the concerned principal of the examination center at which the candidate wants to appear for the examination so as to reach him on or before the date prescribed in the notification the field in application shall be sent by registered post or handover in person the cover being uh, sub subscribed as a application for environment examination okay next uh, three three recent passport size photographs are to be affixed as follows one on the application form okay and the second on the original hall ticket form and third one on the duplicate hall ticket in the space provided the photographs are to be attested by the gazetted officer of the state or central government. The signature of the officer and the seal shall occupy partly on the photograph and partly on the hall ticket application form as the case may be. The following certificate or documents are to be enclosed along with the application form, right? The experience certificate submitted by the candidates as apprentice Appearing for wireman, certificate of competence examination shall be obtained from the licensed electrical contractors whose license is in force during that period of another established industrial units or firms of public or private undertakings. So Xerox copy of the license should shall be enclosed. Okay, so what does it mean by you have to apply, you have to uh, apply for the environment application so uh, one day before you have to go to the department okay to the polytechnic college to provide all the application forms so that you will get a date and at a particular date your examination will be going on okay a cross demand drop of 1500 for candidates appearing for wireman examination drawn in favor of the secretary 
State Board of Technical Education and Training TS Hyderabad on any scheduled bank payable at Hyderabad towards examination fee. Okay, so we can say DD, so demand draft. Okay, so we we don't pay amount fifteen hundred rupees directly to the uh, uh, directly to the government. Okay, we are paying uh, we are paying fifteen hundred rupees to government in terms of DD. Okay, so demand draft. Uh, uh, you can take this demand draft from the bank account and the name of uh, the name okay so the uh, your name should be vis visible on that demand draft uh, as per your certificates original and duplicate hall tickets duly filled in the affixed with the photographs and attested by gazetted officer certificate of experience should be on reverse page of the application form issued by the employer Attested true copy of any one of the following certificate in support of date of birth. Certificate showing the date of birth from records of the school or college certificate or extract from the earlier admission records of the school in which he studied. Birth extract to be issued by the police of registrator of births and deaths. Okay, so your birth certificate, you have to get it from the Office of the Registrator of Births and Deaths. Certificate of Age issued by Tahasildar or Deputy Tahasildar after due enquiry in the matter. Doctor Certificate in Proof of Age. Data was issued by Government Doctor not less than the rank of Civil Assistant Surgeon. So this is the main important thing. A self addressed envelope with the required postage of Rs. 30 for dispatch of hall ticket and timetable. Okay. Next, uh, accepted, acceptance of application forms. Acceptance. Okay. The principal of Polytechnic to whom the application is submitted reserves the right to reject the application of any candidate. Okay. So, the principal, the principal of the respective colleges have a right to reject your application if uh, the following conditions are satisfied. Okay. So, the application is incomplete. Next, second point. Required certificate or not enclosed. The candidate fails to satisfy the condition of eligibility. The candidate furnished false or incorrect situation. The information in the application form is not clearly visible. The application is received after the due date. So, after the due date means... Uh, you have to apply for the environment examination before 30th of this month. If you apply after 30th of this month, you would not accept it. Next, hall ticket and examination. After scrutinizing the application, the concerned principal of the polytechnic will send hall tickets to all eligible candidates so as to reach them before the date of examination. Okay. In case of any candidate is not in receipt of hall ticket, he may contact the principal of the concerned polytechnic personally two days earlier to the examination to find the actual position during the uh, working hours. Okay. The candidate may obtain the duplicate hall ticket if or she is eligible to appear on production of an identification certificate on payment of rupees 100 rupees in the form of demand wrap payable to the secretary state board of technical education and training telangana and hyderabad so if you not uh, go through my voice just download the form and uh, while i am studying just to go through that form so that you will get a better idea the detailed examination timetable will be communicated by the principals of the examination center along with the hall tickets so, for example, if you had applied to the Polytechnic Colleges for Wireman, okay, so that all application forms were sent to principal of that college. And the principal of that college uh, clarify every application form with your documents, okay. So, after verification, every document with proof, uh, what they'll do, they'll send you hall ticket to your address, okay. So, but uh, if you would not receive the hall ticket you have to visit the principal of that college two days earlier of this examination 
so that uh, they may give a duplicate certificate of rupees uh, uh, 100 rupees okay that is that costs 100 rupees okay they will give duplicate certificate so that that is valid for your examination result of examination the result will be declared by chief electrical inspector to government uh, who will issue competency certificate and permits to you a successful candidate okay so you will get uh, a valid certificate from the central government after passing your examination every care will be taken to avoid error in the evaluation and tabulation of results hence uh, any request of evaluation and the retotaling will not be entered okay because there is no revaluation okay uh, the correction the correction of your paper is done very clearly and uh, very systematically so if you there is no secondary option to retotaling and revolution for the examination okay next is the wireman wireman examination so i am telling the total procedure and syllabus just go through it the examination of wireman certificate and competency shall consisting of two tests one practical and another is oral i already said you at the starting of the uh, starting of this video first one is practical and second one is oral practical examination of 6 hours uh, during carrying 80 marks okay so that uh, practical consists of 80 marks and uh, so 2 hours test of 30 marks on machine connections with a starter so that is AC only okay so out of 6 hours it is divided into 2 parts one is 2 hours 30 minutes second one is 4 hours 50 minutes okay Hey, sorry, sorry. Um, six, uh, six hours, right? So six hours is divided into two parts. One is two hours, and second one is four hours. Okay. In two hours, consisting of thirty marks on machine connections with starter, and next four hours. Second part is four hours, and that consists of fifty marks on wiring installations, include marking of joints like bear and standard conductors soldering and insulation binding okay so as you already know based on your experience you can easily do it next oral test local language carrying 20 marks see this is so important actually oral test nowadays uh, every oral test uh, they conduct only in english but uh, for this environment examination oral test will be conducted uh, only on your local language so on which language are you comfortable you can speak to pass the examination the candidate must secure at least 40 to 80 marks in practical actually the per practical 80 marks is there so you need to score minimum of 40 40 marks in order to pass in that exam and in practical 20 marks is there and for 20 marks you have to score 10 marks in oral in the syllabus prescribed okay so now i'm going to tell you the syllabus copy okay so let's go through it okay so this is the syllabus copy okay it is the first part uh, i'll go into the second part it's clearly visible to you so this is the first part and second part is this is the wiring part and third four five some steps are there and uh, these are the syllabuses of this wiring okay so I'm going to learn you elementary knowledge, instruments, wiring, industrial wiring, method of stringing, generators, earthing, safety and precautions. So this is the uh, main points of this syllabus. Okay. Uh, you can go through the different type of topics of this main heading and uh, your complete examination and oral test uh, will be conducted based on this syllabus only okay now now i'll show you the application form okay so which is so useful for your application form but you have to apply for the environment examination before 29 okay so 30th is the last date okay uh, before 29 you have to apply so it's better to contact the samu kondaledi garu from uh, telangana uh, uh, state of private electrical technician federation stpetf 
okay please go through it i'll tell you the number please contact him so that uh, uh, he can apply for you so early as possible his number is 9440122387 okay nithya so this is application form this is the application form and this is the second one back side and next one uh, we have application form of four second one and third form okay next to final final form but not the least I think so last two application forms are same okay sorry Nithya okay guys I have just shown you how to apply uh, I have just shown you the application form of wireman okay so now I now I'll go through it okay and so that you can fill this application form easily and the name of the polytechnic college so i already said you uh, some polytechnic colleges so you have to mention uh, polytechnic college as well as code name of the candidate in full so all you have to fill the application form in all capital letters okay the name of the candidate means full you have to write including your serial uh, including your surname father's name okay and date of birth okay uh, and address for communication with the pin code next uh, general qualification and year of passing means what's your previous uh, qualification and uh, when did you pass your uh, previous qualification next uh, particulars of examination fee of uh, 1500 paid means uh, the details of uh, dd okay the details of dd which you paid to the government you have to mention all the uh, details relating to the dd so a uh, name of the dd branch at which paid dd number and the date okay next signature of the applicant okay you have to sign here signature of the applicant okay back side i will show you uh, i will show you the i will show you where uh, will where you have to sign in the application form and as well as uh, get your sign from the respective gazetted officer i'll show you okay next is certificate of experience so name of the work okay name of the company and the location of the establishment work with address so what's your where did you work before and uh, uh, what is the location of that work and designation and nature of that work so on which designation did you work in that company and you have to mention the period of your work from where and from where to where and you have to mention the total service of your experience including date and signature of the candidate okay so here you have to sign here in the second form you have to sign here signature of the candidate okay and below uh, we have okay in below we have another column so that is relating to the uh, employer means that is relating to the employer of your job 
okay so here a higher ranked person higher ranked person above you has to sign with the designation okay so after personal verification i have satisfied myself with the facts furnished by the candidate and certify that the candidate has engaged himself in the electrical installation works and as such he may be permit permitted to appear for the wireman examination the candidate is a full time paid working technician during the above period and the signature of the candidate is attested by me and the relevant record of candidates employed shall be furnished on demand so here in the below column we have a two options seal date seal seal date and signature of employer okay so actually this column means okay so the, your okay so your uh, above ranked your above uh, ranked employer your above ranked employer has to okay uh, has to decide that okay has to uh, show here has to show here you are working from so and so uh, you are working from so and so company and uh, uh, with time and uh, he has to decide that he has to decide okay so he has to sign here uh, with seal by showing that uh, by showing that you are working in their company from this period to this pe period and uh, they are allowing you to work they are allowing you to apply for wireman examination right next after careful examination of the facts i certify that the candidate has put in the above service in electrical installation works okay seal date and counter signature by deputy electrical inspector and the back side of this application it is also so important and you have to take the signature and the stamp of the deputy electrical inspector okay uh, he may be division engineer ts transco ts genco and ts discom okay so this is the back side of that form okay and below you have to sign signature of the candidate is there declaration by the candidate below we have a option uh, signature of the candidate okay and uh, so your hall ticket your hall ticket issued by the government is look like this okay so your hall ticket and uh, and because after applying to the okay is it visible to you okay yeah so after applying to the government uh, that principal that principal of that polytechnic college will send you a hall ticket uh, through by courier same that hall ticket look like this okay so uh, signature of the candidate seal and signature of the principal okay so signature of the principal you already uh, uh, get by courier okay you already get that uh, certificate by courier and uh, the signature of principal already is there but you have to mention your signature your signature because uh, the signature it is not there in the hall ticket uh, you have to sign your sign you have to sign there and below we have a instructions to candidate the candidate shall be present at the center of examination as per the timetable along the hall ticket okay next the candidate should bring with them all the tools for the practical test okay so for practical test you have 6 hours right so for that practical test you have to bring all the tools relating to your ex relating to the examination any candidate found to be in possession or prohibited material indulged in any kind of malpractice or behavior shall be sent out and the decision of the examiner is final in this regard so this is a final decision so if you have done any mistake uh, uh, in the examination while writing or uh, if you bought uh, uh, any gadget it's so useful for your examination but uh, if examiner saw you they may be terminated okay they will terminate you the candidate shall bring their own pencil pen calculator and log tables to the examination the hall ticket shall be preserved till the issue of certificate the candidate should come prepared to stay at the place of examination for more than day of practical if necessary 
okay actually the practically is for 6 hours but uh, based on the uh, uh, but based on the candidates uh, it may differs okay so this is the uh, overall view on uh, wireman application so i hope uh, you would like the video i hope you understand the concept so please do initiate as soon as possible it's better to contact 9440122387 Samakundal Reddy, President of TPTF. Thank you. If you are, if you like my video, please subscribe our channel and please do like and share to this, share the video to the respected candidates. Thank you.